So today, we'll be talking about the Canic. Chanic? Janic. Canic. Well, it's something, and it's Turkish. The TP9 SFX is Chanic's latest model, stemming from the TP9 pistol. Canic has been in the firearms market for a while, but is relatively new to the US scene. This is marketed as a ready-to-go competition gun with its 5.2-inch barrel and panoramic sight cut ready to go. This pistol is only available in 9mm and unlikely to show its head in a different caliber. This pistol can be found pretty commonly around the $500 mark and comes with quite a few doodads. Here's the case that the Shannon comes in. You can see Shannon's logo out the top and two slide locks, each with a hole for a lock. We will slide these to the side and open this bad boy up. At the top of this case, which is nicely lined with a foam, we see a plastic cleaning rod for a patch, the paddle for the included paddle holster, and the user manual included for this pistol. In the bottom of the case, we see the Janik itself with a lot of tags on it, as well as the holster part of the paddle holster. An extra magazine with a mag loader, an extra back strap, and four different mounting plates, and a cheap trigger lock. Last but not least, we have this mysterious plastic box in the bottom right. Contained in this box is an Allen key, a slide assist, which we'll show you more on later, two other sized mag release buttons, and some screws for those mounting plates. Also inside this box in a box is a baggie with extra red and green fibers for those sights, as well as two lock washers for those screws on the mounting plates. Out of the box, the first thing you'll notice on this is the long slide. Once you get over the length of that, you'll notice the Janique comes with worn sights on a removable base. This comes in later. Above the trigger is a takedown tab, and behind that is a stamped slide release with an extended front end. Following down, you will see we have a pretty large mag release with a hex screw holding it in. Behind that is a silver back strap, which can be swapped out. And finally, the trigger safety which is the only safety on this firearm, so keep that in mind if you would really like to use this for something besides a range toy. The trigger itself has a very obvious stopping point, as well as a very crisp break. The reset is very apparent, as it guides your finger right to the resetting point and clicks into place. First thing first, with all firearms, make sure to check the chamber. Alright, so we'll start by dropping the striker. We can then pull down on these tabs, and the slide should just pull forward and off of the frame. This should have your slide separated from your frame, where you can set the frame to the side. Now we can go on to the slide. We'll start by lifting the recoil spring, and then the barrel. And that is the Canic field stripped entirely. Just to make this a bit more manageable, we will swap the sight plate for the mounting plate while the slide is removed from the frame. We will start this by removing the screws. With those screws out, we can lift the sight plate right off. Then, choose the appropriate mounting plate for your optic and set it on the slide. Put those two locking washers in the counterboard holes and set in and then screw in the screws with the flat heads. You will notice on the side of the mounting plate there's a threaded hole. This is where that slide assist can screw right in. It'll take a bit of force, but that just means it'll be tightly in there. Swapping the magazine button is also very easy. Take the split allen key and loosen the screw holding that in place. You can swap it for a larger or smaller button, but I like the medium, so I'll be leaving that one on. Alright, that was the Canic SFX. If you would like to know more about our opinions on these guns that we cover, stay tuned for a podcast in the future.